There's no tougher job than being a doctor. So many feel they must sacrifice their own well-being for the sake of their patients. And well, it's leading to some burnout. Dr. Gail Gazelle is a physician coach and a teacher at Harvard Medical School. She's written a new book called Mindful MD and joins us this morning. Good morning to you, Dr. Gazelle. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure to have you here. So Texas is facing a looming doctor shortage right now, and it's happening across the country. One factor, of course, is the aging population to care for. But is burnout also a factor? Burnout is definitely a factor, and it's really interesting. Levels of burnout in the physician workforce were high before the pandemic, and they are considerably higher now. The fears of bringing this uh, virulent disease home to family members, seeing colleagues and patients die early in the pandemic and not being able to help them. And of course, the incredible politicization that we saw nationwide have really taken a toll on physicians and others in healthcare. And we're seeing, really, we're seeing physicians struggling mightily in the current healthcare environment. And in fact, we're seeing burnout in two out of every three physicians nationwide. So this is a real peril, as you say, in Texas, the shortage of physicians. That's an issue nationwide. We're just not getting enough physicians into the workforce, and we're seeing physicians leave largely due to burnout and really how that erodes their sense of well-being and their sense of uh, doing good for the patient population. Now, you're a certified mindfulness teacher. I guess what does that mean and what approach do you teach? Well, I think when people hear the word mindfulness, they think it's a lot of fluff and woo-woo, and they picture either aging hippies coming out of Woodstock or monks meditating on a, on a mountaintop. But really what mindfulness is, is gaining control over our own minds, the instruments that all of us use every waking hour. And we don't always realize how much our thoughts lead us astray. Many of our thoughts are helpful, of course, but many of our thoughts are not helpful. So with mindfulness, what we're doing is we're training the mind, really, so we can be the master of the mind rather than its captive. And this is nowhere more important than in healthcare, where physicians, nurses, therapists, technicians are working so incredibly hard, and yet their minds can get caught in all kinds of stories, that they're not good enough, that they're not as smart as their peers, mm -hmm or that the working conditions are too hard, or maybe they've gotten the diagnosis wrong. It's really amazing how our minds can run wild. So mindfulness is really about taming the mind so that we can really utilize it to be at our very best. That makes sense. How can a doctor be resilient without impacting patient care? Oh my goodness, when doctors are resilient, they are much better able to take good care of their patients. When they're resilient, they know that they can't run on empty. They have to do things that sustain themselves. You know, the oxygen mask metaphor that we have to put our own mask on first before we can take care of someone else. Self-care and resilience is fundamental to the physician workforce, doing well, taking care of patients and surviving really what we can only describe as the marathon of a, of a career in medicine. And really quick, before we go here, what are the best strategies, even for us regular folks, to achieve and maintain a regular work-life balance? Well, I think balance is the key word. I think there needs to be non-negotiable time for oneself and one family, time that you're not looking at your phone, that you're not answering work emails, that you're not worrying about work, time that you can really just relax and unwind. I think that is really the biggest key to work-life balance in the modern world. Thank you so much for that insight and joining us uh, here on Daybreak. Once again, your book is titled Mindful MD. Thanks so much.